Hello and welcome to the Pixie Dust Designs YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and today I am crafting with the, this is actually an add-on set to the music box and it's it's really fun. It's called Surprise Gift and you can create a little um, gift box or present and what's great about it is that you don't actually you can use it uh, on really any card you don't actually have to only use it with the music box so today I'm going to create a USA 2 size card that measures for this is going to be landscape top folding so it measures four and a quarter tall by five and a half wide. And I've covered the entire card front with black, solid color cardstock, cut to that size, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I've just got this really nice uh, black and white polka dot. It's not quite black, it's, it's like a very dark charcoal. And that piece I've cut to four by five and a quarter. And here are all the parts to the surprise gift music box add-on. So you can use this actually in a variety of different ways. So I've cut a couple of extra pieces of the present and I'm going to use one of these light pink uh, as a um, almost an insert. So there's a separate die that does cut out the top or the lid to the present. And there's this piece, which I, I am lining it with another piece of pattern paper that's the exact same. The, um, the difference is that the, the extra layer that I have in the front, it actually matches up with how I cut the layer of the lid of the box because I wanted it, I wanted the pattern to continue. And so I, um, so I recut the front of the box, but one of the die dies in the set actually cuts out the bottom portion of the present, but with the addition of three glue tabs on the two sides and the bottom. And I'm going to use that as a, a little bit of a pocket to insert the the top of the um the present and so i'm doing a little bit of a dry fit just to see where i might like for everything to be placed before i start gluing stuff down and i thought that the sentiment celebrate actually you get two word dies you get let's celebrate but i just wanted to use celebrate which i die cut twice once out of black and once out of a very fine um polka dot um, pink cardstock or pattern paper and I thought having this additional strip of solid gray would help the sentiment actually stand out a little bit better especially since it's you know two polka dot prints even though one is a very small fine print and the other one is larger I, I think that solid that strip of solid color cardstock really helps to make it more legible Usually the the shadow layer that I added, the black die cut that I offset a little bit, usually that helps, but um, in this case I didn't think it was enough to make it really legible. And so with the two uh, light pink layers of the present, uh, I'm, I want to go for that look of, of a group or a collection of presents. And so I don't want a lot of paper there because I want this, um, this one that's going to be in the middle to stand out best. And the bottom glue tab I am securing down first. And I'm just putting a line of just plain old scotch tape because that is going to allow the insert to... Um, get pushed all the way to the bottom a lot easier than if you didn't put a line of scotch tape there because of that difference in um, layers of cardstock you've got your it's possible for the insert <clears throat> excuse me to actually butt up against that glue tab instead of 
gliding right over top of it. So when you put a line of scotch tape over it, it just helps the insert to glide right over top and that way it can go all the way down to the bottom more smoothly. And here I wanted to have the ribbon actually extend all the way so that it looks like the lid of the present also is lined with ribbon. So I just cut, I used the same die that is um, the ribbon die for the front of the box and I just cut a little bit of that seam, silver, glitter cardstock, just a partial die cut so I have just that little section and this die set even includes the really fun bow at the top too. And I've just gone ahead and stamped a really simple sentiment so that when you open this out then we know what it is we're celebrating which it, this will be a graduation card. So I thought that might be a little fun way to just add a little bit of a hidden message. Um, you could, um, I think it's a little too small for money, but you could <laughs> maybe do like a little scratch off experience so that they can scratch off and see what they won. So any anything that's a little bit of a surprise, I think would be fun there. Thanks so much for catching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing this video. And if you're already subscribed to the Pixie Dust Designs, uh, YouTube channel. Thanks so much. And if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can be notified whenever new videos get posted to this channel. Thanks again. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.